2017, when my country's president was elected, he vowed to fight corruption in his government in Angola. This conversation is only in Angola. Across the continent of Africa, the civil society, academics, and politicians alike talk about corruption and how much corruption is bad to our countries and the imminent need for them to address corruption. And today in this reflection, my goal is not to talk about why corruption exists in our countries or how bad corruption have been to our countries. But rather, I want us to look at what can be done to address corruption, or at least to minimize and mitigate the impact and effect of corruption in our society. And I have one important insight that I want to share, and that is to develop a system of accountability. And as much as it looks like it's almost impossible to develop a system of accountability in spaces where there is no tangible systems of checks and balances, but I want to point out to a tool that a lot of us are very familiar with, and that is accounting. Accounting as a science historically have been used to help organization keep record, organize financial and economic event and communicate them in a way that is useful to the users. And again, when we look at accounting for public management or government, it is really important to look at accounting as a potential partner in the fight against corruption. And here's one way that accounting can help. Accounting also help design strong systems of internal controls. When government design strong system of internal control, it make it harder and even almost unlikely for corruption, fraudulent transfers to happen in the government space. And the second ally of accounting is auditing. If our countries empower auditors to do their job, to give them tools to inspect the books in the government and make it a requirement for government offices to disclose their expenditures, their income, their revenues and appropriation, this would be putting our countries to the right track in their, in their fights against corruption. And by having financial documented information on how the government is using the resources available to them would allow us to know how these funds, these assets has been used, what means were used, and how they were used. And I believe this requirement should come from the top to the bottom, from the executive branch of the government, the, legislat the legislative branch of the government, and the judicial branch of the gov government. Every single part of our government should be able to report their financial situation, their financial condition, and their annual financial reports. Because by doing so, this would allow the auditor to do their job and give an opinion on those financial disclosure. So, despite the challenging in fighting corruption, I believe that accounting and auditing could help in fighting this corruption. So I'm open to talk with you. Please reach out to commit to have this conversation.